fees. Should uh, I restart? Sure. Uh, what did you do one more time? Sorry. Thank you. I hereby open the meeting of the Planning Commission in its role as the Committee of Citizen Involvement. Could we have a roll call, please? Sure. Chair Landon? Present. Uh, Vice Chair Salazar? Present. Commissioner Cuevola? Here. Commissioner Gill? Present. Commissioner Bergen? Here. And Commissioner Buck? Didn't hear you there. Not hearing you. Anyway, I can see he's here. Commissioner Buck, it looks like you're not muted, but we're not getting any audio. I think though we can register him being present and let him do a little right. bit. And then um, Commissioner McGinley, I am not seeing either. So is your work, Mr. Commissioner Buck, you wanna try again? Do an audio test, Commissioner Buck. All right. Okay, we'll proceed. Do we have any adjustments to the agenda? Uh, I have none from staff. And I'm not seeing any hands raised, seeing none. Uh, can we uh, get the Pledge of Allegiance? We'll do the Pledge, excuse me, uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Now, those in attendance in person, Please recite the pledge while others online are muted. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Are there any corrections to the minutes from the April 5th, 2022 meetings of the Committee for Citizen Involvement and Springfield Planning Commission? Seeing none, if there are no, if there, uh, the minutes uh, are approved without corrections. Uh, Chair. Please. Uh, I've got my hand up. Um, yeah, I would like to have a couple of changes to the minutes. Okay. And um, let's see, get, um, during the Main Street safety discussion, there's a couple of things I'd like to add. Um, one was that I said that the project uh, costs would be 130 million in today's dollars with no inflation figured in and that binding and mandatory language in the proposal would lock the current design ideas in, even if there were significant changes in transportation, the economy, or other factors. Uh, also, I said that significant bike, pedestrian, or transit improvements in the design were envisioned at the very last phases of the project, and this would leave the high stress bicycle and pedestrian environments as is for a long time and that transit stops would continue to impede traffic. And uh, I'll go ahead and put those comments into the chat so that they don't need to be transcribed if that works. Thank you very much, appreciate that. Uh, Commissioner Buck. Yeah, we're still not getting audio on you. Uh, Commissioner Buck, you could phone in, leave the video on your computer and you could phone in for the audio. There you go, you have a cell phone that you can use. If you'd like, go ahead and dial in and we'll uh, stand by so that we can uh, gather your comments. Uh, and while we're waiting, um, just acknowledge that Commissioner McKinley has joined the meeting. Thank you.
I think everybody can hear you, can't they, Sandy? Uh, Commissioner Quavela, did you have additional comment? Your hand is still up. Oh, sorry, Chair, I forgot to forgot to lower it. All right, looks like. Okay, Commissioner. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, we're getting an echo, but yes, we can hear you. Possibly from your computer. Try just muting your computer. Okay, I've got my computer muted. That works. That works. I just wanted to check my sound. Uh, I don't have any additional comment. All right. Thank you very much. Sandy, I believe we're Sandy, believe we can approve the minutes. Is that correct? Okay. Pending no, uh, since there are no further corrections, the minutes are approved without corrections, without changes. Uh, we will now take business. That would that would be that would be minutes approved. With amendments, Chair, I believe. Uh, you are correct. Minutes are approved with corrections. Commissioner Quavela, thank you for the correction. Uh, we will now take business from the audience. This is the time in our agenda for the public to provide testimony on any topic relevant to the Planning Commission in its role as the Committee for Citizen Involvement. You may also provide comment related to the comprehensive map plan clarification committee appointments at this time. We'd like to ask all members of the audience who are joining us by phone or online to please keep yourselves on mute until you are called to provide public testimony. If you would like to speak, please use the raise hand feature on Zoom or press star nine if joining by phone. When called upon to speak, please state your name and mailing address. Please keep your comments to three minutes. Sandy, I'm not seeing any hands raised. Or am I? Okay. We can move next on to the uh, call for agenda item. C confirm, please. So we have a comprehensive plan map clarification. That's what I was project. thinking of, yes. Call agenda item, comprehensive plan, map clarification, committee appointments. Presented by Monica Sather, senior planner. Thank you, Commissioner Landon. Um, good evening, committee members. Um, I'll just need a few minutes to give an overview. And I actually think this is the first time I don't have a set of PowerPoint slides to present. So I'll just get right into it. Um, so as we discussed for the project's community engagement plan, one way to get some effective insight on the comprehensive plan map clarification project was to form a project advisory committee that the project team would recruit broadly. Um, those we reached out to and how um, we reached out to the, those groups are in attachment two of your packet and that's PDF page 16. So you'd like to go there eventually and discuss that. Um, and as far as applications received, we received eight applications and staff would be happy for the committee to appoint all applicants this evening. We received applications from people with a range of backgrounds, some of which have commonalities and depth of planning knowledge, while um, all eight also really demonstrate breadth and perspectives and experience in other ways. So just to share um, who those folks are, I'll pop it up. Um, as a way to hopefully be convenient here. So we had um, just in order of alphabetical order, um, Alexis Biddle from Thousand Friends of Oregon, Carrie Morgan Driggs, University of Oregon, um, prefers Morgan as a first name, um, Phil Farrington, CDC Management Corporation, Zach Galloway, TBG Architects and Planners, and I'll do my best here to pronounce uh, last names moving forward. Katie Kaidel from Metro Planning, Sean Maxwell um, at large, 
um, explained his background and experience in the application. Um, Earl McKelleny, also at large, with lots of good background and experience. And finally, Rick Satchery from the Satchery Group. And then a couple more things I um, wanted to clarify for this evening. So appointing members is up to the CCI. Um, this committee could concur with staff and move to appoint all applicants this evening as we proposed for this agenda item. Or we could talk about options to pare the pool down and further consider the merits of the applications. I can pull up the set of detailed application information in the agenda packet if needed um, and if helpful. And at this time, I'd just like to open it up to any of the committee's comments or questions you might have about the applicants or the process. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any commissioner with any questions for Monica or comments on the committee appointments? Commissioner Cuevola. Yes. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that um, city staff, I believe, did an excellent job of going through the package. Uh, the outreach I thought was very, very uh, vigorous and uh, encompassing. Um, regarding the applicants, it was I was very happy to see uh, a couple of folks who I have uh, worked with in the past on city um, matters, uh, Mr. Farrington and Mr. Satre, uh, that they are still willing to provide us with their expertise on these matters. And just, I'm very happy to see that they're still um, gonna, that they're gonna volunteer for this. And I know that they will be very useful. Was also really pleased to see a bunch of new applicants and the breadth of knowledge in those was just excellent too. So I'm gonna say that I concur with staff for appointing all of them. But again, looks like a very good job by staff and a really wonderful pool of applicants. Perfect, Commissioner Salazar. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, I, I'd like to um, echo Commissioner Cuevola's comments firstly, um, just to say that I think this pool of applicants does show a great, um, an excellent process in recruiting. And that shows in the applicants that we've gotten. And I think that reflects really great on staff that you've been able to reach out to um, folks to get a really great breadth of applicants with a great breadth of experience that I think will be really helpful for this process. One question I have is just um, if you initially imagined this um, committee as having five folks, now we're getting eight applications and we're thinking that all eight folks are, are great. We'd love to have them in the process. Do you imagine the, the functions of the committee or, or the way that the committee goes about, it, goes about its business being any different, being a body of eight versus five? We do not. Um, I'm glad you brought that up and that you remembered. Very thankful for that attention. Um, we do have an opportunity to create committee bylaws with this group, um, so we may do that very early on um, as the committee is formed. And we have solutions for how to manage this, but we do see um, continuing to hold meetings as planned and not necessarily do breakouts. Um, Commissioner, would you be interested in hearing some of our solutions for how to manage eight as opposed to five, or does that help? I think that helps just as long as, as you as staff think that this is a manageable number. I think that's great to hear. Thank you. Commissioner McGinley. Thank you. Um, this is redundant. I just echo um, really great work uh, done by staff to recruit a diversity of applicants. Um, it was great to see that we reached people who live in Springfield um, and then people who don't live in Springfield but still use the code and want to see solutions. There's people with technical expertise and with lived expertise. So um, just really great job and I'd be happy to appoint all of them. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Seeing no hands, are we ready for a motion to appoint members to the Project Advisory Committee? Commissioner, Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion. Commissioner Salazar, go ahead. Excellent. I move to appoint the following members to the Project Advisory Committee. Alexis Biddle, Carrie Morgan Driggs, Phil Farrington, Zach Galloway, Katie Keitel, 
Sean Maxwell, Earl McElhaney, and Rick Satry. Seconded. We have a motion and we have a second um, for the project advisory commissioners. Any discussion of the motion? Hearing none, I will now call for the vote. Can we have a roll call, please? Sir, uh, Commissioner Quavala? Yes. Commissioner Gill? Aye. Commissioner Bergen? Aye. Commissioner McKinley? Aye. Commissioner Buck? Aye. Aye. Uh, Commissioner Salazar? Aye. And Commissioner Landon? Aye. Motion carries, seven in favor, zero opposed, no absent. Um, do we have any uh, commissioners with a report on city council meeting? Hearing none, do we have any other business from members of the planning commission? Commissioner McGinley. Thank you, Chair. Um, I just wanted to announce that I will be moving to Virginia to um, pursue my master's in public policy. So I think that there are no more scheduled meetings as of yet uh, through my moving time at the end of July, but I will be ending my term early. Um, and if, it, if this is the last meeting, I just wanted to say um, thank you to everyone on commission. It's been such a pleasure to uh, serve on the commission with you. And um, I just always thank you to staff. They've been incredible to work with and just been really proud to be a part of this. So thank you. You will be missed. Do we have any business from the Department of Public Works? Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Commissioner McGinley, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to thank you, Commissioner McGinley, for your time um, and your diligence on our planning commission. Um, during your years of service, you have definitely completed our planning commission and rounded us off really well. So thank you for always um, researching everything and always coming to, to excuse me, <laughs> coming to the table with um, really great input. And it shows that you're passionate about this. So congratulations on your next chapter. Thank you for all your work. All I can say is amen to that. Uh, any business from the Development and Public Works Department? Sure. So my name is Sandy Belson. I'm the Interim Planning Manager. And Commissioner McGinley was mentioning uh, upcoming meetings. So at the last meeting, we had talked about having a meeting that first week in July, and we talked about whether it should be the fifth or sixth, but we actually don't have an agenda item ready for that meeting. So we will not be meeting on June 21st, and we will not be meeting on July 5th. Um, it's looking like we will have a meeting um, on July 19th. So that's the third week in July. Um, we have an application that we thought was going to be ready for early in July, but it's it's not quite there yet, and it is a public hearing, um, and we don't want to hold that past summer. So um, please hold the July 17th as a meeting date, but at least you have uh, the beginning of the summer break. Okay. Thank you very, very much, everybody, for your time and your comments. The Planning Commission meeting is adjourned. And thank you for coming.